Hey everyone, Heather from Aquagali. So today I'm just gonna do a short video on how I made the uh, DIY filter for my pond out of a terracotta pot. All right, we're just gonna go ahead and do this in my kitchen since it is a lot cooler in here. So first of all, the thing that makes this work the best is this pot. This is an orchid pot. I got this from uh, Lowe's for about six bucks. It comes with three holes and then a hole in the center. And that's really what the key here is too, because basically all a filter is, is just water moving through filter media and coming out the other side. So basically we want to put our um, pump hose in here. It's gonna shoot up like a fountain. And then we're gonna want the water to fall back down through this pot, not overflowing so that it can come out of here filtered. Okay, so I don't want my rocks going through the hole in the middle. So what I did, and this is super DIY, I actually cut the toe out of one of my socks. <laughs> And I'm just gonna put it over that hole right there. And when I put this over it, it'll block the rocks from going out of that middle hole. Key is to get this to stay in there like that, which is not exactly an easy thing to do if you're setting it up on a kitchen counter. So we're just gonna kinda have to rig this a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some of my pre-rinse gravel in here in the bottom. And yep, it's gonna fall out all over the place and I'm gonna have rocks all in my kitchen. I'm gonna put three bigger rocks in the middle here, just to kind of, I don't know, can you see that? I'm gonna put three of those in there and that's gonna help keep the, uh, it's gonna keep the pipe steady and also it's going to kind of help uh, level out my filter media a little bit. All right, in case you're wondering why I'm actually putting rocks in the bottom of this instead of putting filter media in right away. So the key to making a filter is that you want the water to be filtered before it comes out of the hole. So you want to raise up the water level and so you could put your filter media right above it. So when it runs through it, it comes out of here nice and clean. If you put it down at the bottom, it's not gonna do you much good. So got our rocks in there like that. It's gonna help hold up this little spout a little bit. Um, now this is gonna come out at some point when I put it into the pond. I'm just keeping it there as a marker so I know where to, uh, to measure everything. So that's about right. And I'm using this, these bigger rocks as kind of a spacer. So what you wanna do after that is, um, let's see. So you can use, so in this, I'm gonna use carbon and I'm going to use uh, regular filter pads. There's two types of carbon that you can use. Um, I, there's this uh, carbon infused media pad that I got from uh, Aquarium Co-op that you could just cut in a circle and uh, put the hole in the middle of it and put that down here. Or um, what I had on hand at the time before I got this was um, this API activated filter carbon. And this is just, I don't know if you can see in there, but it is just a bunch of carbon like that that's loose. And I went ahead and I put it in um, an old pair of, uh, cut up an old pair of tights and put it in here. Uh, and then made sure I rinsed it out. Now, um, just make sure you follow the directions on this when you rinse it out. You wanna rinse all the dust out, but it's not gonna run completely clear. So what I did with this was I just stretched it out, kind of put this around here like that. And uh, like I said, this is a super DIY job that I did here. And then I just put this extra little piece right there. All right, this piece is gonna go over that, like that to create our fountain effect. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and make another uh, filter pad. And I'm out of the big white ones, so I'm gonna go ahead and use this uh, felt piece that I've got. And I wanna make it about, let's see, I'm just gonna eyeball this here. I'm gonna cut this. It doesn't have to be exact, because we're gonna put rocks over it anyways. Cut it a little bit bigger than you think it needs to be because you can always make it smaller, but you can't make it larger. So that should be about right. And cut a hole in the middle. I just make basically a uh, cut like that. I fold it over and I basically cut kind of an X in the middle. And 
that will go right over that. And then it's a little bit big, but that actually works. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to cover it with more gravel so you can't see it. So what's really important to remember is you have your water shooting out of this. So you don't want the water to overflow over the side. So you want to get the water to stay inside this bowl so that it runs down in here and out through here. If it runs over the edges, it's not going to do you much good for a filtration. It'll be great for aeration once that water hits the surface of the water, but it's not going to do you much good as a filter. So you want to make sure that your um, the top of your water spray kind of just falls into here. The pump that I'm using is actually uh, this, it's meant to be a lighted pump. This is a 15 watt pump that I got off of Amazon. You can see it's pretty strong and it would be stronger if it wasn't clogged. It's a little clogged. So we're gonna put this in the middle here and it does have some suction cups so it'll stay suctioned on there. You know what I've got extra bricks so here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead since I'm using this I'm gonna put a couple bricks down this is gonna be the test of trying to not spray yourself in the face with water while you're doing this okay. and then you get that problem that is not gonna filter right, let's try that again Well, that's it for that video. So thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.